Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tom.com and today I'm going to show you how you can add a Kitas RTS remote control to an Oxymo motor that's installed in the shutter behind me which is operated currently by this Telus One RTS. You're also going to need a small screwdriver, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the Telus One and put the motor in programming mode and I can do that by turning over the remote control, taking the screwdriver and pressing this little prog button until the motor responds. That's it, I've done that, so the motor is in programming mode now. So now I have to add the key tis. I have about two minutes for that. So what I'm going to do is take the key tis, turn it over, and then there's a small opening here that I can put my screwdriver in, and then I can take out this little clip, and that reveals two little openings, and one has two strips in it. I'm going to connect these two strips until the remote starts flashing, which is now. And now I can choose either of the buttons to link it to the motor. I'm going to press this one until the motor responds. That's it. And as you can see now, I can press the button, and the shutter will respond. And the way the, the button works is once you press up, it moves in one direction, you press again, it stops, Press again and it will move in a different direction. So that's the way the remote, the Kitas works. Now you still have this button and that's another channel so you can connect another rotor shutter to the same remote, which is done with the same procedure. I can put this clip back because we're done with the Kitas and as you can see, the original Telus One is still working. Well, that was a quick video, so if you went too fast, you can look at it again, or if you have any questions, do let me know. You can send an email to info at tron.com, or you can leave a comment below the video. In any case, thanks for watching. See you next time.